Hey guys, so I'm about to start the overskirt and I thought I would check in with you. Um, I've just finished sewing, well mainly finished sewing the skirt. There's a couple of um, details that need to be done and embellishment and stuff, but pretty much done. So I'm going to start the overskirt now. Um, it is at night though, so I'm not going to do a lot. You can probably see how dark it is behind me here. But I figured I'd at least cut out some pattern pieces for the overskirt, which is this um, outer skirt here. So I've created this uh, main skirt, and then there's this, you know, larger skirt that sort of pulls at the bottom there. Um, I think it's removable, or I can probably make it so it's removable, because I think that's going to be a bit of trouble when I, um, if I want to dance or anything like that. So we'll see how that goes. I'll have to look at the instructions more in more detail to see what I can do there. Um, I had a bit of trouble, um, and I think I mentioned it in a previous video with the material that I was using. Um, and I hope I'm lit up well enough here because my, um, my ring light's kind of hidden behind desks, which I could move, but it's a bit of a pain and stuff. So, um, I've got these big like LED lights, like floodlights sort of shooting at me over here um, to try and sort of light me up because the lighting in this studio, it, it's really not designed as a art studio. It's very poorly lit. So the only lights that really help me at night are the ones that I use for filming, um, which have been all right, but God, they're just like, you know, BAM in your face, um, crazy lights. Anyway, back to the thing. Um, so I had some trouble with the amount of material that I had for the um, overskirt. I've had a really bad run of luck with all of the measurements of material that I need for this. Either I've got way too much because I really don't understand what I'm doing. Like there was a couple of different ones where they had different widths of material and how much length you need based on the width. Um, stupid me was like, oh, I need all of those measurements, you know, like, and so I've got like uber extra material. I think even, was it my mum or oh, someone was watching a video where I was like showing the bolt of cloth and kind of going, that seems like way too much cloth. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it is. I had no idea what I was doing. But it turned out the overskirt was like definitely wasn't enough um, and actually was fine because like the color just doesn't work with the other colors that I've got. It's a real kind of almost yellowy green gold instead of the kind of warm coppery bronzy color that I've got for like the neck corset and stuff. Um, so I went and got this material. So hopefully, I think it's coming up, actually it's coming up pretty good. Um, it's a black material ribbed, as you can see, with like gold flecks in it and even some like holographic flecks it looks like um, occasionally. Beautiful material. And it sort of picks up on the gold from uh, um, the other parts of the costume without like it's subtle enough that it doesn't need to be an exact color match either. It was really hard to find material that I thought would suit. But I took, I was like really worried about how much material they had and like with my past experience with seem like feeling like I was running out of material when in reality I was trying to buy way too much material. Um, I took two bolts of cloth up to the counter just in case and I was telling the lady I was having trouble getting enough material for things and I'd run out of material that I wanted for the overskirt blah 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 and she's like oh yeah I know sometimes like people they'll um you'll think you've got enough material but they've wrapped a remnant around the bolt or whatever and then you know um and then you seem to run out and that sort of thing and next thing I know, she's unrolling it and there's this weird join part where they've tried to like fuse the material together and then there's all this paper kind of stuck to it and stuff. Um, and I was like, oh, that could be a problem. 
Um, and she's like asking me, you know, uh, would you be okay to take this part? And I was like, uh, I don't know. Uh, is it, how does it look on the other side? We're trying to have a look. She's like, oh no, you won't notice it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, she did give me a discount though, because of that seam and it did look like it's okay. And I'm hoping to God it is because I'll have to have another look at whether you can see it. But then I thought, all right, well, not too bad, I guess. And she kept unrolling. And then next thing you know, we ran out of material and it was like a remnant. And I'm like, oh no. Um, Cause like the thing is too, I, I didn't want two separate pieces in case, you know, if it's cut just in the wrong spot and, and then you can't join it together without like a sew mark or something. <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't know whether that cut line is going to screw with you or not. Um, and I still don't know yet. I, I am just putting the pieces out, if you can see over there. So I've just started laying it out and I thought, oh, I'll do a little check in before I sort of get going. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping it's going to work out okay. I need to trim it probably probably about five inches I think to match up with the other skirt it's gonna be longer you know and hit the floor which is how it's sort of designed um, anyway wish me luck I hope there's enough material hopefully we're coming to the finish line and we're gonna do okay I'm continuing with the overskirt and I've just done zigzag stitching all along the um, material to stop it fraying. My god that took me so long. There's like, I don't know, five or six meters worth of material here. Um, I think it works out for the US guys, um, was it six yards or six and a bit yards or something like that. A lot anyway it I feel like I've got a whole bolt full of you know material like you can't see it. like it's just there's so much I can't even seem to really show it on camera because I have to grab it in a big bunch but honestly the amount of material is extensive so trying to sew around that is a bit tricky and then uh, it kept catching and you know kept getting um, doing like stitches in the one place and you know stitching a little lump of bloody stitches and and then you're trying to pull it all out of the bloody sewing machine so you can keep going so um, and then I realized the spool of thread that I was using um, had gotten all kind of jumbled um, I don't have it in hands reach or I'd show you but like it was getting caught when it was trying to unwind through the machine. Um, I mean, this is like, this was like a cheap ass bloody, you know, cotton thread that I've had for so long, 15 years, maybe longer. Um, I've had that thread in my stash. Um, I don't know even, I wasn't even doing uh, sewing on a sewing machine at that time. So I don't know why I had, you know, sewing threads and bobbin and all that jazz, but I did. So, um, yeah. So anyway, that took forever cause I had to keep, and then the thread would, um, you know, come out of the needle. So I had to keep threading that back in. It just didn't go smoothly. 
Um, I'm now going to, I've got the iron out, um, heating up, and I've got to press all of the edges for this and, um, and then, you know, press them under again to make a nice seam and then sew that. Um, and then I think once that's done, I have to do like a, um, like a, a wide stitch along the top or maybe a couple of rows of wide stitching to pull it so that it gathers and I can attach it to the waist, um, waist belt, I guess. Um, that's going to be interesting. I've never done that before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I think it said to do it at about six millimeter stitches. We'll have to just look up. I'm just hoping that that will be, that will be right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some of the instructions I'm like, oh, is that what they mean? I don't know. I'm like, you know, not entirely sure what they're talking about. You know, they're talking about six millimeter for these stitches or is it referring to something else? I don't know. I'm still trying to work it out. I'm at the home stretch though and the rest of it's come out okay so I think we'll be okay we'll get through this we'll do it uh, yeah so I thought I'd just check in and let you know how it's going so far took forever um <laughs> yay I've done the um like pressing and folding and pinning and blah 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 of the hem it didn't want to press that well I probably could have turned up the um I was gonna say turn up the volume turn up the heat on the um iron and and maybe it would have pressed a bit better but I didn't want to melt anything and whatever so um so I've just done a whole bunch of pinning and I think that'll be fine. And now I'm going to run it through the sewing machine. My shoulder is so sore from doing all of that. Like this is a more simple uh, design. There's less pieces and that sort of thing. But just the sheer volume of sewing on the sewing machine is immense. So, you know, each part that you do, it's just like takes a really long time. And I don't know, maybe I'm getting old, but <laughs> I'm sore. <laughs> So this is the overskirt now. Um, I've stitched the hem up all the way around and then on this side I've used a different coloured stitching to do the ruffles. Now I've never done this before so I hope to god it works out. Um, this is the waistband which I did in the red material. Um, and now I need to apparently pin this onto this and pull the gathering strings until it fits. There's so much bloody material here. I'm really concerned how this is going to turn out. And it's really difficult to work with this much material. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope this goes well. Um, I think I'm just about at the end though. So fingers crossed. Let's see how we go. skirt pinned to the um, waistband here and it seemed to pull pretty well so I'm happy about that um, it's quite bunchy <laughs> so hopefully I can stitch that okay 
says to baste it and then stitch it so I'm going to follow that direction just in case um, and yeah so we're nearing the um, the end of this costume which is good I do have other things I want to make for the outfit so I'm and I'm going to need every little bit of time to do it so yeah I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've been at this for like all day pretty much. Um, I always think it's not going to take me as long as it does and yeah it, it took a really long time so I do hope this comes out good. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit of a check-in I've been working on the skirt um, and at the moment I'm working on the belt so the belt you can probably see there has the rings um, I am using wooden shower rings <laughs> that I painted with this so this is the um, bronze uh, no sorry they call it steampunk copper and the color works really well with what I'm doing I had this already um, so I don't have like a larger ring and two small ones like that one I've just got the three matching um, I think though because of the thickness of those rings I'm going to need to make these bits like longer otherwise it, it won't fit around it as well so I'm gonna try fiddling about with that um, and I keep reading the instructions for that part I'm not really following I think it um, if I'm correct in thinking the uh, overskirt really just clips in with a stud you know one of those like um, stud button things I don't know that that's going to be enough. I'm really concerned about that. Uh, I, I could possibly use a few studs maybe just to give it some strength. Or I am tossing up whether I do some other sort of fastening situation like um, use maybe a bit of ribbon as a backup or something like that. I just don't want it to be something that's like, you know, f like falling off at the drop of a hat. Like, it's not like I'm going to be naked because I'm obviously wearing a skirt underneath. It's just a decoration. But I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure. I'll um, play around with that and see how we go. And I did do some embellishments on the overskirt. Um, no, sorry. I did some embellishments on the skirt. And I'm tossing up whether to do any on the overskirt on the band. Uh, let me just quickly show you what I did for the skirt. Now I was pretty nervous about doing this to be honest because the skirt is um, finished and I didn't have to do the embellishment and doing the embellishment could have um, you know caused an issue and meant you know that I've damaged a perfectly good skirt but I went for it anyway and I just did like it's just on the machine uh, Hopefully you can see there. I'll try and come on, focus you crazy camera. So anyway, you can see like it's like a scallopy sort of stitching. Um, this is one that's like one of those specialty stitches on the sewing machine, and um, it's on the splits that go up the skirt. So I've done it on both sides of like each split where your leg sticks out from um, so I thought it looked really nice and the color matches in with the rest of the costume um, yeah so I'm pretty happy with that I might put a couple of um, little jewel things on it um, like at the top and bottom potentially I'll see how I feel or I do have like some scale looking beads like little mini ones so I might even do 
some of those just like here or something like that as a little decoration so I'll see how I feel about that but um, the only thing left on this skirt otherwise is the eyelets to put on and then I can wear it so that's good um, and then the overskirt the band isn't looking fabulous but I haven't decided whether I will put any embellishments on that or not like I was trying to stitch some straight lines on it and <sighs> they are anything but straight um, <laughs> but you know so I'm like oh what can I do I'll just embellish over that so yeah um, <laughs> embellishments on everything so I don't know I don't know whether I have tossed up whether to put some decoration on that it's not a big deal though so I might end up leaving it and it's not um, high on the priority list so that might end up getting pushed back um, but yeah so and one of my videos just came live sadly someone has already thumbs it down um, which is always a bit of a bummer when it's like you know small amount of views and ratio wise like you get a, a couple of likes and then you get a I don't like it um, I don't know but uh, look I guess it happens and who knows what the reason is could be anything um, the downside of the dislike button is you know it's not constructive criticism it's just um, it's just vote down so you don't know why uh, but anyway so back to it guys so here is the skirt and the overskirt um, if you can hear some noise uh, coming from somewhere else my husband's watching a movie downstairs and I don't want to ask him to turn it off or anything so you might hear some noises from that but uh, I wanted to share this with you guys we are days from the Goblin Ball um, and this is the skirt and the overskirt, which is all finished. Um, this is the little rings that I painted. I did actually end up shortening this um, overskirt a, a touch because it was a little big and would have, um, you know, fallen off really. Um, and like because I think this was too long for it to sort of sit there so I um, did fold it in just a touch on either side uh, and you know I guess like it was a size I, I went with size 22 I think I mentioned for the skirt and the overskirt just figuring if the skirt says I'm that size then the overskirt should be the same it is a touch big but um, but it does fit like the skirt the overskirt was uh, a touch too long and and sort of would have joined exactly here um, and not allowed for these rings so yeah keep that in mind I suppose um, like everyone's shape is a little different and that's sort of I think the hardest part about sewing is getting the sizes right I think I showed I did the embroidery work down the splits that's where my leg will come out on either side I've got a split um, and I'll try and stand back a bit further my studio is an absolute mess right now I've got these great little sparkly shoes that I got from um, where did I get them from Dangerfield I think so and uh, like the princess highway shoes I really love these um, not quite the same colour as the dress but close enough and it has a little bit of a heel and of course it has some sparkle 
so anyway, pretty happy with how this is looking. Uh, this is a, um, I've got a t-shirt on with it, so obviously um, it's not the full get-up. And I will need help to get into the full get-up, so I'm just showing this part. Of course, it, the overskirt is meant to drape sort of behind you. Um, and I connected it with some studs and then two hook and eye things as well as a backup. <laughs> I just didn't didn't want um, something that was easy to you know come off I guess in case you know someone stands on it and it breaks or something like that. I wanted some backup. Um, I mean it, it still is likely that someone may stand on it but I can take this off easy enough while I'm there just by undoing it and then remove it so when I'm dancing I can decide to do away with this uh, which you know is probably going to happen because it's beautiful but probably not great on the dance floor when there's a whole bunch of people who could potentially stand on it. Um, yeah, really happy with it. I've done some beadwork on here as well. Nothing fancy, just um, same check beads that I used for the corset I've used here as a bit of a detail. And that's it. Same leather to match it in. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying seeing how this costume is taking shape. Um, I, well, by the time you see this, I don't know actually whether I'll be showing this tomorrow or on Sunday, um, but there's a good chance that I've been and gone to the Goblin Ball. Um, so any Goblin Ball um, attendees watching, you've either seen the full get up before everybody else or you're about to see it very soon um, because there's a lot more that I've done on this costume that I haven't yet edited and shown you guys so um, yeah anyway I'll leave it at that thanks for tuning in guys if you want to see more of what I get up to with this costume and other adventures hit subscribe and for the rest of you I shall see you next time in Feywood bye guys